Okay, so we're here again with the Ice Bear. Just got done doing a video on that scooter. Um, for this one, what we're going to be doing is actually putting in a new ignition coil on it. Just to switch it out. Um, I'm at 590 miles right now. Um, so still everything's pretty much stock besides the levers. Um, so I'm going to start switching things out. The ignition coil, I also have the CDI as well. Um, the ignition coil is actually just a pretty basic one. Just a pretty basic orange coil versus the normal stock black one. This is supposed to give it a better spark apparently so I'm gonna switch this out so the things you're definitely gonna need are a ratchet an extension will definitely help but you, it's probably not gonna be needed if you can get in there um, a 10 millimeter socket so try not to lose that um, some more zip ties considering a lot of this stuff is all zip tied in there um, the next thing I want to try to replace is the fuel pump for one of the Makuni ones, the Makuni styles. But first I'm going to start off slow with just a, just a co uh, coil. So basically what you have to do in here on the 150 models, um, it's going to be back up in here. And you can see it, it's right, it's right here, it's this one. You're going to want to pull this little dust cap off of it. You just slide it down the wire and then you'll see the two wires behind it you have the green one and then the yellow one green ones you know and they just pull right off so you can just pull on them and then just go ahead and let that dangle down and I would definitely try to keep the cap that we can put on the next one and then if you follow the wire which is going all the way around the fuel pump down here wraps back around and then shoots down to the engine basically just pull it off the spark plug if you are going to switch the spark plug out for one of the NGK ones um, the two different NGK plugs are if you just go with the normal standard plug it's going to be an NGK CR7 HSA and then if you want to go with the Iridium plug, it's going to be a CR7HIX. But and that'll give you better spark too versus the Chinese ones. Um, so with those two taken off, um, you're going to need a pair of scissors or cutting pliers just to cut this one, this zip tie off, this next zip tie off. And then that'll free up the whole, the whole wiring setup for it. And then we'll have to get in there and take the 10 millimeter socket and loosen up the nut up here. Um, let me see if I can get in there with one hand. Let's see, so we got that. Give it a couple turns so it's loose. And then, you know, you can just loosen it up by hand if you're faster than the nut is. And there's no washer behind it either, so you don't have to worry about that. Just try not to lose all that hardware because you're definitely going to want to reuse the nut. So there's a nut in the bolt. There's the ignition coil. Yawa. Alright, I'm going to get a pair of scissors so we can cut these two and then pull off the old ignition coil. Okay, so I got the scissors now, and I'm going to be going in for the first zip tie here. Um, you want to just move in there a little bit, so cut that one. Make sure when you're cutting these to not cut any wires, because the little zip ties are easier to replace than replacing wires, depending on which wire you cut. Then you just try to get into there. And there's that and now old ignition coil 
is free. You can just tell it's just a normal standard stock ignition coil. And then you have the orange one. So I'm going to unwrap this out of the, off to this. And then I'm going to start lining it up and then we'll go from there, you guys. Okay, so we got the ignition coil unwrapped from that. Um, the first thing I would do, honestly, I would take up the top half of it, put the put the screw in it, and try to just basically set it in place up there. Let me try to do that because it's pretty difficult with one hand. Okay, so now that I got that in, um, I didn't tighten it down yet, so it's still a little wiggly. Um, once you get that part on, uh, I would wait to put the wire portion of it on until you actually tighten it down. And remember, green's going to go with green, and then yellow and black are going to be negative or black on the coil. And then you're basically just going to take this. I would run it on top of the ground wire. That way it just wraps around, plus that way you have something to one of the holding points for it. And then basically it's just going to wrap all the way around. And then you just plug it in. And then make sure the whole water seal part of it is good. So that's all plugged in the spark plug. We got this. Then we can route this and then route the wires up with this other group. Snap it back in there. Snap back there. And then I'll have to fasten this one back up to here once I'm actually finished but for right now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down with the 10 millimeter I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down because it wants to jump everywhere and then we'll go from there okay so now with that fastened down like I said make sure that dust covers over over these over the wires for it and wrap the wires up in there and it'll literally just slide over and then like I said we're gonna do green and green so green it's gonna be attached to green and then we're gonna do black and yellow on the black terminal and then you can slide those little sear clear basically water covers over it And then we're just going to take the black cover, we're going to slide it over it as well. I'm going to do that and then we'll jump into the last step. Okay, and then I cut this one too just to loosen the wire harness down. So you're going to have to replace this one. So I replace this zip tie, this zip tie holding it up in the mid range, and then this zip tie that basically just holds the wires back. Um, once you do that, you basically just tighten up, make sure everything's on and connected. And then there you go. You have the new ignition coil on. You can see back there, it's all on tight. It's all It's an all orange wire now. You got the black rubber protector for the base and then salt orange and that's all it takes to replace the ignition coil on this um, and then obviously you're going to want to cut those tabs off of the zip ties but that's it for the ignition coil on it um, if you have any questions or anything you can go ahead and leave it in the comments below I'll try to get to them when I can um, also, I'm going to do another one. I have a new. I have the CDI for it as well. It's one of the orange, no rev limit CDIs. Um, eventually, I'm going to end up doing jetting and stuff on it. But for right now, that's all I got for you guys. All right. Like always, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos based off this or anything else in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Other than that, have a nice night, guys. See ya.